everything coming soon to GTA Online July 26, 2022, which is basically tomorrow. As much as it may have mixed feelings for some people who are happy that the Press Mark 2 is getting nerfed, or as much as people are disappointed that the KO Perico is also getting nerfed, there is a few things in this update that disappoints me, especially including the fact that modders aren't going to get taken care of. There's no anti-cheat or dedicated sessions that are going to be created, but that's only until whenever Rockstar feels like doing that. Without further ado, let's get to the basic most important details of what I have seen that is coming soon to GTA Online, and without further ado, let's get into it. Upcoming improvements to the GTA Online experience coming as part of the Criminal Enterprises on July 26th. At least they finally gave a name for it instead of just lazily calling it DLC 1 of 2022. So one thing that's pretty important to everyone, cell missions are actually going to be able to be done in private invite only sessions, as well as crew and friend sessions. But here's the thing, they're saying players on all platforms can easily find a new session by bringing up the pause menu, selecting online, and find new session. Do they not realize that find new session automatically puts you to a public session? Not an invite, not anything else? Like, if that's the case, that's already existed since like day one. Another thing that Rockstar may have forgotten exists is that players can also continue to sell their goods in public sessions and those who do will receive an increased high demand bonus for their efforts. That's always been in the game since day one. Do they, do they not know what their game is anymore? Ah, uh, car updates. Let's see how special works. Wow, that guy has some money. Let's see what they did for this one. Ooh, all vehicles with access to the LS Carmate will be able to be equipped with low grip tires, giving players even more customization options. How much more customization options can you get out of one option? It's just low grip tires. It's just it's just low grips. But anyways, I'm happy with that. At least I can drift some more vehicles that I have in my garage. Vehicles will be delivered faster when requesting from the mechanic. Apparently that was such a big issue to some people because uh, modders can still break a session and the mechanic will not be able to deliver vehicles to anyone regardless. So I guess that's kind of helpful in private lobbies, but at the same time... Players will no longer incur a charge for destroying another player's weaponized personal vehicle. That's already existed on console, are they going to put on PC? That's it's a thing that's useful for console is what I meant, but PC you don't get charged for it. It you just That's kinda of pointless. I mean it's already existed since day one. One thing that hasn't existed though yet, the amateur mobile operating center will finally have its own garage. Like the Presser Mark II and the Terabyte. Nice. The number of ownable properties will increase from 8 to 10. I had a feeling. I was predicting it too. They're not going to increase the large apartment garages from 10 vehicles to 26 with BMX included. I mean, great, but like, it's 10 vehicle garages. I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess some people want to buy more vehicles that are coming out, so I guess the space is needed. Here is something that everyone had cared about back when the Oppressor Mark II had released, but now only care so much about it than they did before, now that everyone's using every other means of griefing. The homing missiles on the Oppressor Mark II has been reduced, or the effectiveness, and its countermeasures will have increased cooldowns and fewer uses. Meanwhile, the Sparrow Helicopter- oh yeah, this is the best part- the Sparrow Helicopter will receive buffs when being modified inside the Kasatka to make it less vulnerable to enemy fire. More like, it's more likely to be able to grief. Yeah, it's gonna cost the Oppressor Mark II. No, it's gonna, you're gonna be able to nerf the Oppressor Mark II at a cost of the Sparrow. Oh my god, Rockstar, do you... Whatever. Weapon things, or whatever they're doing here, let's see. When managing an auto shop business, your auto shop staff will not be much more likely to successfully deliver a customer's vehicle without issue. 
I never even bought this staff upgrade because I personally find it pointless. I could just do it myself. It's gonna waste time, but at least I can waste my time driving rather than have it done for me and just be lazy about it. Players will be able to purchase max ammo for all weapons at once in the interaction menu. As if that's never existed before. If a player fails and quick restarts a mission, snacks will be restocked to however many they started the mission with. Wow, it took a while for Oxford to realize that was an issue. <laughs> okay, good thanks. Oh, finally, you can hang up the phone from people who are going like, oh, I'm old China, I need you to do this for me because that Ruby's gonna smack my face with his panther's tail or some shit, whatever. How to make yourself look more like a freaking OP griefer 101, just disabling game chat and just don't care about what everyone's telling you or even telling you, please stop griefing me. Great. Speaking of griefing, Rockstar took the wrong path when it came to reduce instances of griefing. The kill death statistic will no longer be affected by kills made in free mode. How does that make people stop griefing? And going forward, this ratio won't be affected by kills scored in competitive gameplay. How is that going to stop people from griefing? They're still going to use the sparrow now that it's going to get buffed. Thank you very much, Rockstar. And grief everyone's cargo to reduce instances of griefing. <sighs> oh my gosh. Some useless information that if you want to read that, it's just so big. Just have fun reading all that if you wish. But uh, let's move on. Ooh, something more with cars. I wonder, does it do something with drifting or something? Let's, let's see. Payout increases for... Increase money across many activities that's already existed. Wow, that's actually pretty useful, honestly. At least people will be able to do something that's more worth their money and time in the game. Such as races, adversary modes, and heists. Like, wow. Nice. And even more. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. And finally... <laughs> something else that's getting nerfed we will also adjust specific aspects of the kill perigo heist finale to better balance a player's time spent in gta online for one thing out of 99 percent of things i guess okay solo playthroughs of the kill perigo heist finale will trigger a cooldown of three in-game days okay and after stealing a high value primary target in Kill Perigo Heist Finale, the higher value primary targets will appear less often for the next 72 hours, while the value of the secondary targets will increase. Oh, like we can get more gold. Oh, okay, so I guess it balances out my, I guess, maybe? This is intended to encourage exploration and cooperation between players. There was one thing someone actually said when this was posted on a YouTube channel that's already been done like days ago, before I even had a chance to see it. Someone said, this is just to increase Rockstar's income for shark card microtransactions, which I personally find is true, because why else would Rockstar do this? I mean, everyone has already been stinking up Pavel's Kasatka, just making endless amounts of money off it every day. Like, I mean, it was the easiest way to make money that now that this update's coming out tomorrow, Rockstar's like, nah, they make too much money. Now they have to buy our shark cards, otherwise they're going to get punished. Alright, thank you, Rockstar. Oh yeah, and with punishment, just to force them to buy our shark cards, we're going to encourage griefing with the Sparrow by giving it buffs. And if you don't believe me like I've said before, just look for yourself again. The Sparrow is going to get buffs, make it less vulnerable to enemy fire. People are going to start griefing with the Sparrow more often, and no one uses the Person Mark II anymore. I mean, come on, Rockstar! And finally, something that looks fancy with biker stuff and armor. Boosts for organizations and MC members. Nice, you will get more money for joint participating organization and activities. And you're not busy running on corporation, join a friend or fellow player to earn big without risking your own stock. Nice. First time payout boosts, even if they've already completed certain activities prior to July 26. Executives get a triple payout for new export mixed good sell mission. Executive assistant, after one of you know how staff has to acquire their first batch of special cargo. Nice. Gunrise research speech are tripled for your first research item. 
Production speeds also triple the train to normal rates after your first cell mission is completed. Okay. Okay. We'll prove stock to three times the regular. All business model goods will contain triple the usual amount of return to normal rates after your first cell mission is completed. Your first cell mission for each of the business lists above will reward double the usual payout. Ooh, wow. Nightclub's even more worth it than before. Limited time payout boosts for things. Recurring blue night tracks and member channel also double for a limited time. That's great. With more to come, thank you all again for taking time to share your valuable feedback with us. Okay, can you take care of modding, please? That is the most valuable thing that is ever the biggest problem in GT Online history, and all you care about is your shark cards. And if shark card microtransactions isn't enough, you're still going to promote your GTA Plus microtransaction on the new gen consoles. Really, Rockstar? And that's generally everything new that's coming soon to GTA Online. It still disappoints me that they buffed the Sparrow, nerfing the Oppressor Mark II, as well as nerfing the Kill Perk. I mean, Kill Perk Heist, I mean, I don't do it as often anyways, and whoever still needs money off of it, I don't mind helping them, giving them 85% cut, especially if it means giving more it's secondary loot. I, I personally don't mind doing that. I'll, I'll still I'll still be up to give help people out with that, so I'm still fine with that. I don't mind. For those who don't see that series, I have no one to get money for, so whoever needs money, just hit me up in the comments down below. Send me your social club name, and I will add you. And you, if you want to know all the rules, regulations, whatnot that I've made, just look on those videos that I've already uploaded. I already made two of them, and I don't mind making more. But still. Rockstar is looking at the wrong things just so they can make an extra couple bucks of microtransactions and people are going to grieve so much more often with the Sparrow. How ridiculous. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will come back to you guys later tomorrow with the new content that is coming out that should come out every Thursday but because DLC is coming out tomorrow on Tuesday so stay tuned for the new weekly content updates that will release tomorrow with this DLC and I'll see you all I'll see you all then